Welcome back to another video on the channel today. I'm going to show you guys how to make money in Hypixel Skybook. Now, this is going to be a complete compilation of every single guide I've ever done, so definitely watch this one all the way through. But before we go, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications to see more. But uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Alright, heading straight into the hub, uh, we're going to go ahead. Uh, straight I think to this place first so there's a few things going on around here um, mainly this this person so uh, you can buy booster cookies here these cost 325 skybook gems now gems there's a few ways you can get them uh, not gems booster cookies uh, so you can buy them from the bazaar and this is probably the thing I would recommend doing obviously you don't have to buy them you can get you get one free one which is the important thing about this money making method um, because what you're going to want to do, I've made a complete video about this, but if you get your free booster cookie, you uh, use it, and then you'll get 4.8k bits if you play enough, and uh, then you can buy two god potions with that, which is really awesome, and uh, those will sell for 500k each, uh, last time I checked, and uh, so that can make you a million coins if you are if you play enough, uh, which is really, really awesome for early game, or just any time, a million coins is always nice. Um, 569, so they're actually going up as we speak. I actually current I currently have uh, Gold Potion active, so you could you could I, I would suggest is probably if you're late later game sell one and keep one. Uh, that's what I, I ended up doing. Um, but I can I can actually afford with my minion setup if I can afford if I sell one of the God Potions, uh, then I can afford to just sustainably keep using booster cookies, and uh, that is awesome. Cookie buff of three days left, and uh, I can just keep reusing my bits and getting more God Potions, which is really awesome. Um, other things about the hub is we've got the mayor now. Uh, Scorpius currently. Uh, he gives you a little donation, the bribe. Now, this is an awesome thing. This is why you need to check your uh, your mayor thing always, because uh, obviously Scorpius got six hundred nine thousand votes. That is ridiculous. I didn't even know there's that many people on Skylock. Um, I think that is probably the most convincing. Whenever the main reason is because he gives you five hundred k, which is really awesome. So yeah, definitely do that. Um, there's a few other methods in the hub, but mainly the ones I can think of are just using the auction house well, uh, trading your stuff up, and uh, selling to the bazaar is always a useful thing. Um, anything like that is always good. Um, I'm going to talk about these in more detail later, but um, yeah. It's really awesome to use the hub, and uh, I'm trying to think of anything else we could do in the hub quickly, um, but I can't exactly think of anything, so I'm going to get into the next part of the video. Alright, next we're going to move on to farming. Now, uh, definitely don't take me as an example, but you're definitely going to want to build some sort of farm. Now, uh, I might suggest using a builder's wand, uh, but they are very expensive, so if you can't afford one of those, uh, just you're just going to have to place it manually. Uh, I've only got one layer because I can't be bothered with farming. I actually, yeah, I really don't do too much farming, but I'd recommend cane first. Definitely get your farming level up as much as possible. And uh, definitely work on these Jacobs events because you can get these really awesome hoes like this one. Uh, this will give me plus like 25% and then plus 32% more. And uh, this can eventually be upgraded to get even more. Turbo cane 4 is really awesome as well. Um, so yeah, just farming cane is a very good way to make a bunch of money, and using that gold potion you bought earlier, uh, hopefully you did, um, you can get a ton and a ton of, uh, you can use your speed from that and just get a ton of cane, which is really, really awesome. Uh, and that is basically how you farm. You're going to need a personal compactor, definitely, I need to set mine up uh, to do cane currently. Uh, yeah, so if you just do that and then you get your sugar cane hoe and you just mine up tons and tons of cane, I'd recommend two layers, like full layers. I only have like a quarter of one. I'm not very good at farming. Um, I also have potatoes over here and I have a Pythagorean potato hoe um, just because Jacob's events are always good. So let me explain exactly what you should be doing for Jacob's events. Now, uh, back in the hub, we've got... So in here, a Jacob, every day or so... Um, it says I have one on claim, but I don't think I do. Uh, so you'll have a carrot, nether wart, and pumpkin going on right now. Uh, I do. I've only done cocoa bean, sugar cane, and uh, potato really. Uh, but what I would definitely recommend doing is trading up your medals. So if you can only get bronzes currently, uh, trade up all of your bronzes to silvers. I think you need so you need eight bronzes to make one gold, and uh, or you can just get silvers and stuff along the way if you can. Um, 
but then trade that gold for a mathematical hoe blueprint and get one of these two hoes is definitely the idea and you should make a ton of money along the way like this enchanted sugarcane sells about 50k so if you can make say like five enchanted sugarcane per harvest that's 250k very quickly and uh, easily so let's get into another section i'm doing quite a lot of transitions because there's a lot to get through today so uh, i'll see you guys in a minute Right, next up I'm going to head into the Dwarven Mines. I haven't been here for a while, but uh, I, I kind of come up with a few new ideas and uh, hopefully should be decently useful. Now, to make money here, uh, I would definitely suggest, uh, obviously do all your quests, do your commissions, stuff like that. I find them very boring, but if you do enjoy it somehow, uh, I guess you can do that. But the thing I would suggest doing is uh, heading either, there's two, there's two ways you can do this. So... Uh, either you go for Soros, which are very difficult to get, and they're much more late game, uh, but they do spawn down here, or you, you kill the ghosts and they drop Soros. Uh, the ghosts, they very much kill me, like, almost instantly, so it's very difficult, uh, but literally this guy's about to get slapped up by these guys, but uh, I don't know if I can even kill one, let alone kill many of them. <laughs> yeah, look, this is ridiculous. They, they do so much damage to you. Uh, I don't know if I can even hit them with that. No, I can't. <sighs> oh, that was close. I don't want to die here. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> they're very difficult to kill. So you probably need a really end game armor. I'm wearing superior, and I can barely even defeat them. So you're gonna need like a liver dagger and probably shadow assassin at minimum. Uh, maybe something even better like uh, necron or wither armor, which would be very difficult to do. So if you can't do that, I would definitely suggest. Uh, Heading, I believe, I haven't been here in a long time, but I think it's somewhere up here. I want to find the upper mines. Oh, I don't have enough mana for this. Um, uh, I don't know if I can get there by on my feet. <laughs> Let's try. I think it's up here. Um, so, what we're going to be working on is trying to farm some treasure right now. This is almost sells for as much as Soros these days. They've actually, Soros have gone down in price and treasure right has, sim has stayed similar price. Um, the way you get treasure right is basically from killing these treasure hoarders and whenever the, this is a decently rare job, it's like 5% or something. Uh, but there's quite a few of them around here and they're much easier to kill than Soros or ghosts. Um, when you kill one of these guys, they might drop a treasure right, and you can sell this treasure right for 150k on the auction house. It used to be like 400, which is really good. I used to farm this like all day. Uh, but could, the reason these are expensive is because you need it to f get one of the drills. I think it might have gone down because that drill is not needed for the later drills. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't unlocked them yet. But um, yeah, farming treasure right is a great way to make some early game money. Not maybe not early game, but slightly lower, lesser game than the. Uh, the sort of insane sorrow farming over there. Um, I can't really think of too much else for money in the Dwarven Mines. It's really a good way to spend your money if you want to. Uh, sorrow armor is like very expensive. It's actually gone down quite a lot. I, I definitely don't think it's worth as much as it used to be. But yeah, let's get straight into the next method. Next up, I'm going to head into the end, where uh, you can make a good amount of money, actually. I've been making a decent amount recently, um, because I've actually been farming quite a lot of zealots. Now, the way you want to do this is basically, uh, every, like, 250 to 300 zealots, I have a zealot counter up here, if you want to see, uh, you will probably drop get a special zealot, and then that will drop a summoning eye, which will sell for about 500 to 600k on the bazaar, um... Which is really awesome. I, I managed to get my 996,000 just by farming them. Um, and that is really useful. It's sort of my active... My, if I want to actually play the game and, and grind money manually, this is my go-to method, honestly. Uh, it, it used to be slightly better because summoning eyes used to be worth like 1.2 mil. And uh, you could do that very easily. But this is quite decent because, you know, you, you sort of follow the progression line and you get down to the 30, if you get to 13,000 damage, which is pretty difficult, um, but I can show you a few ways to do that. Uh, you manage to be able to just kill these guys pretty effectively and uh, you can get your summoning eyes pretty quickly. So um, basically my equipment currently I'm using is a sharp aspect of the dragons. You can, my aspect of the end one shots them fine, uh, even without strong dragon armor. Uh, you honestly could swap out superior for strong and use this aspect of the end uh with the god potion you'll be fast enough and you also do enough damage to easily one shot these guys and you can teleport around you have enough mana it's just it's really good having uh aspect of the end is strong with the god potion that's that's basically what you need uh for this you don't have to use wise armor but if you don't have god pots that might be a useful idea now be wary when using god pots if you don't have a uh uh, a cookie active they won't be as good because you'll lose your coins and you'll lose your pots on death so 
that is a big thing to take in mind. I, I, I fought a tarantula slayer the other day whilst I had god pots and I died. Um, so I lost my uh, god potions by accident, which is really bad to do, so definitely don't do that. Um, but yeah, farming in the end is a very good idea. Uh, also, if you're in the end a lot, you'll fight a lot of dragons. Now, I fought quite a few, like, le it's leeching uh, a few dragons. So basically what that means is just you just get frags from... Uh, shooting the dragon once and then go back to you can't really farm zealots while the dragons are going off but once someone spawns one just hit it a few times with your bow and you'll get three or four frags which will sell for like 10 15k on the auction house or the bazaar i mean um and you'll get some decent money along the way that's just sort of a passive income you can do while you're in the end and I'm not sure, if you get like number one damager, which probably you won't be if you're looking for money, uh, you might be able to get some pieces, I'm not exactly sure. So, yeah, that is basically all I have, uh, oh no, it's not all I have, I have a few more methods I can think of. Um, mainly, I was going to say, I forgot to say in the first section, uh, you can go back to the bazaar over here, and uh, you can get sell your gifts now this is really important because every every week you can get 20 white gifts and one green gift from the or is it a red i think it's a green gift uh you can get one of these each from uh, you get 20 of these one of these from the jerry event which happens once a week uh, there's one coming on two days and three hours now how I'd recommend doing this is don't sell them the day of the Jerry event because that will bring down the prices sell them a few days afterwards once the supply has gone down and uh, the price has gone back up again but you'll easily get 5k per white gift and 10k per green gift so that comes out to if I can do maths 100 and 110k which is pretty decent for um just a few minutes work which is really awesome you get that once a week easy i say that i remember i used to say that spooky candies was a very good money making method it's really not anymore they've gone down quite a lot in price since the new spooky updates and uh, it's much easier to get these now so unless you're selling purple candies there's no real need to sell them really um i'm trying to think of other things uh for farming you've obviously you want to get your pets leveled up and now i'd definitely recommend elephant if you're going to be doing farming seriously but a uh, legendary elephant that is but they do cost around 16 million coins so be wary of that um but yeah i'm, I'm trying to think of some more but I'll, I'll i'll make another cut and we're going to the final section of the video Right, I wanted to quickly mention that there is a, currently a glitch with foraging. I would recommend it normally, but uh, currently you actually can't do what I would normally say. So uh, normally you'd be able to, I have haste four even, and I can't even insta mine this stuff uh, because they've broken how foraging works with the new uh, mining update. So the efficiency doesn't work, I, I think is the thing. It does say mining speed plus 110, but I th it still doesn't work when you're mining. You're not, you're not able to insta mine anymore. So you now will you'll need a tree capitator instead of just your normal golden axe so foraging is now no longer really an acceptable a uh, good enough method really i wouldn't recommend it at all um but yeah for the final thing i'd just like to say you need to optimize your minions now i currently i haven't really done that too well because i've got 12 copribian minions and a bunch of random ones down here now uh, I'd say clay minions are very good, tarantula minions are pretty good as well, so definitely recommend snow minions, um, but don't take any advice of any of the other ones, because diamond tier 12 is a scam pretty much, uh, these are not worth getting, um, but yeah, basically you just need to get, if you can get yourself super compactors, and try to lava buckets and diamond spreadings, you're really good for minions, and Tarantula minions are really awesome, but they are very difficult to get, and you can't really afford them, probably, if you're looking at this guide, because they, they produce a good amount, actually. Let me see. This is like a day and a half's worth of drops, so let's see how much this sells for. 12k for that, and we also get a few k from... Uh, that's 22k, so if you can get, like... That is a tier 6, I believe. Uh, I'm stuck in the hole now. Oh, no, this is not good. I need to jump out. Uh, oh, God. I hate... I'm stuck in my own creation. <laughs> I created this to trap the spiders, and now I'm stuck. Um, but yeah, it produces iron as well if you want that. Um, they're very useful minions, So, but they are difficult to get. Bear that in mind, definitely. Uh, yeah, that's basically all I can think of, how you can make money in these, these 2021 uh, times of Skyblock. Um, hopefully this guide is useful, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. But before we go, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications to see more. It really helps out the channel if you can subscribe and there's a case fighter on me. Um, and it's really, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe later. So, that's good for today. Uh, goodbye.